He is a good and smart master, and he made me this color so that I may talk. Squirrel! We love Disney's Up, but maybe the most exciting part? The idea of a dog being able to speak to us through a special collar. Well, it turns out that's not so far from being real. Here are three ways humans are communicating with canines. Uh-huh. Speak! Hi there. <gasps> Number one, communication vest. We're developing technology that allows dogs to create messages. I heard the alarm. The project, known as Fido, is testing vests with sensors the dogs trigger with a tug or a nudge of the nose. He can summon help with a medical alert vest. Get up. So he can tell me the difference between what toys I'm holding up. What's this? What's this? That is the ball. He can tell the difference between what sound he just heard. No news yet on when the vest will be available, but we'll be waiting. Next, dog translators. <laughs> Trying to understand your dog's barking can be frustrating and annoying. Companies like My Dog Translator, Dingo Lingo, and Google have created technology that says they can convert barks into English. Translation engines analyze the neurobiological acoustics. What he means is the software enters your dog's bark into a database and produces a translation in plain English. This technology is available online now. Finally, if you're not into technology, try a pet psychic. You don't know how many people Ask me in readings, does my pet hate me? Pet psychics say they telepathically speak to creatures with pictures and feelings. And he says that you call him different names, not just one. This is true. Pet owners cough up as much as $250 an hour to find out what's going on in that fluffy head. <laughs> You're gonna be fine. Learning to talk to our furry best friends on the lowdown.